Hello everybody. Today I would like to tell you how to practice the linear regression by Stata. And however, in our tutorial today, we uh, uh, regress the linear uh, using the linear regression to estimate a non-linear relationship. So as you can see that last time we already know about the relationship between the mileage and the weight, right? And here we can see from the graph that they are uh, it is a negative relationship and it is a nonlinear relationship. So now we should uh, we now we take the linear regression for this relationship. So as we can see the equation here, it includes MPZ, uh, it is stand for a mileage and wedge and width square and the last one is a foreign. So now go back to our starter and then we use data to run this model. And you can see that in this uh, uh, equation we have with square and it is a nonlinear so we need to create the new variable represent for with square okay now we do use uh, we use the data first of all we need to download the data set so please go to file and then click on sample data set and you click on this one, the example data set install with data. And take the first one. Okay, and so now you can see this data set already downloaded. And then now you have a look about our data set. Go to data and have a look. Okay, click on browse. So here is our data set. And but today we only need to do work with three variables. First one is MPZ, that means mileage. And here they explain here the mileage on the right hand side. It says about how many uh, miles that a car can run uh, in one gallon of gas. Okay. And next one is the weight. So it says about how many tons of the car. And the last one is the foreign. Foreign here, we remember that they have a true value, right? The first one is the zero, represent for the domestic car. And second one is the one, is represent for the foreign car, okay? Now, first thing that we need to generate the new variable so i generate square width equal to width square okay so now the new variable already has been generated so now we regress the model okay go to the second one linear model and related and click on linear regression and dependent variable here is uh, the mileage MPC. And the dependent variable, how it is as they are weight, and they are square weight, and then the foreign. Okay, and click submit. Okay, so you can see here's our result. Yes, yeah, our result. And so you can see the MPZ, that means the dependent variable, and the other variables are uh, the independent variable, right? And here is the p value, and you can see all of them, uh, they are smaller than 5%. So that means all of our independent variable are significant. Okay, so now I tell you how to draw the graph uh, for the fitted variable. But first of all, we need to create uh, the fitted variable, right? So go to command and you try credit, 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 credit. Uh, 
like mp g hat it is a fitted value so here you can see they say fitted values okay so now i want to tell you how to draw the graph for the fitted value so you go to graphic and two-way graph and you could click on create and scatter here or our y variable here is a mileage mpg okay and x variable here is uh, wet okay and click on accept and another way another one you need to create the y uh, but the line it is a line for the fitted variable the line you click on line and the dependent variable here is the mpz hat the fitted variable right and x variable here is red and remember to click search on x variable so you can see only one line one straight line but you if you don't click on this one you can see many lines so remember to click one okay and then accept and now you click on buy and because we still have the variable foreign you need to see between the uh, compare between the domestic car and the foreign car so click on buy and you click on draw subgraphs for unique values of variable and you choose uh, you should choose the foreign here and then you submit and here is our uh, variable the dot one it is the mileage and the line, the red line here is a fitted value. And you can see uh, on the, the graph on the left hand side is uh, for domestic car, and the graph for the right hand side is for the foreign car. So here I, uh, we can see we have uh, two graphs. So thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, all for our tutorial today.